Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm a general practitioner in Manchester, UK, and I'm going to share with you my afterthoughts on topic 27. Now, headaches, big topic, lots of red flags. You kind of just have to learn them. But a good way to get your consultation spot on is to be able to counsel your patients about the medication options. So we're going to go through some specific drug side effect considerations, and we'll start with migraine prophylaxis. So number one, propranolol. The most common reason for discontinuation of this drug is actually nightmares. Other side effects include fatigue, cold hands or feet, and you'll remember from topic two, erectile dysfunction, it is a contributing factor. Another thing to look out for is asthmatic patients. Propranolol is a non-selective beta blocker, and so it's going to be interacting or rather preventing your beta agonists like salbutamol from working. Number two, amitriptyline is a tricyclic antidepressant, very rarely used in anxiety and depression nowadays because of the risk of fatal overdose. One of the main side effects is that it can make you drowsy and sometimes patients like that. It's generally taken at night and it can help with sleep. You want to avoid amitriptyline in glaucoma or urinary retention because of its anticholinergic burden and it can also prolong the QT interval. Number three, tapiramate. The main consideration for this one is that it is teratogenic and so you want to either avoid it in female patients or make sure they have some form of contraception on board before you start it. It can also increase your risk of kidney stones and glaucoma, but through a slightly different mechanism than amitriptyline. Number four, candesartan. It's an angiotensin receptor blocker commonly used in hypertension or heart failure, but can also be used in migraine prophylaxis. Your main considerations are dizziness and hypotension. Obviously, it's an antihypertensive. After starting candesartan, you want to check Eusinese to look out for hyperkalemia. Finally, the last drug we're going to talk about is sumatriptan, oral, subcut, nasal. The idea is that you take it at the onset of the headache right after the aura. It can cause a strained sensation of flushing or heaviness on your arms, legs, even chest. You want to avoid this drug in patients who have had previous strokes, heart attacks, or uncontrolled blood pressure. And something that's really important about sumatriptan, it can cause medication overuse headaches, so watch out for that one. That's it guys, anything come up, any questions, just leave them in the comments. You can email me directly as well. Otherwise, good luck.